Hello, everybody, and welcome back. My name's that. Hello, hello. Uh, where we left off. Do you mind? Welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Michaelito. We left off after uh, discovering Deke's friend who has died inside of a cave due to spiders. We also collected letters nearby in another cave for Serona and the, um, what is it, the, the three broomsticks, I think it's called? Yeah. Anyways, let's continue on our story with Deke here. I'm back, Deke, from the cave. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he died. We were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm here. Mod's reporter for duty. Modding, mod reporting for duty. Modding, mod. Good morning, Aiden. Frick. I decided to clean my glasses last second. I'm sorry, Tobbs. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Did you just snap at me? Okay. Let's see here. We just finished up Deke's story real quick. Speak with Deke again. I just, he just, he just wanted a moment. Deke has an idea to share with you. Oh yeah, what's that idea, Deke? Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed, uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. So I can breed with beasts, got it. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Frick. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Well, I got a couple. I, well, actually, I think I want like one Thestral. Um. So he said there was a place outside of Hogwarts, right? Just right outside. Yeah, just a hop, skip, and a jump. Frick. Luckily, there's a uh, flu flames and teleportation. Because that's crazy. Who are you? And who are you? Are you just chilling? Is this like just a hangout area? I need some help. Okay, that's cool. Bye. Good friend goes. That's not what I pressed. Also not what I pressed. Okay, let's find these thrustles. Thrustles? The fall of the dead. Rescue a male thrustal. Purchase. Okay. Okay. Oh, is it not going to pop up because I'm on the broom? I think I need to get the spell ready. Oh, there they are. Wow, there's a lot of you here. Frick. 
I didn't mean to press that. Did I mention I'm waking up? Places. Well, I guess I'll just come after you. No! No, you don't. No, you don't. That one. Settle yourself. Was that a male or was that a female? How do I know? Are you talking about me over there? I know where you are. Oh, this sucks for you. Yeah. No need to be difficult. I mean you no know harm. I, I actually mean a bunch of harm. Oh, no, I'm stuck by the tree. Okay, this is going to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. There we go. You landing? You're not landing. Places. Arrest the momentum. And this is how you get a new puppy. I feel like I should do this in advance before doing the stream. Ugh. I might be done here. One balloon. Uh, any more balloons? Oh, it's just a singular balloon out here. Did I pop the rest? Anyways, now I'll go check in on this spellcraft. What's over here? More quest? Oh boy. Ooh, healing. Setting if I want a phone and monitor or a new GPU. What GPU do you have? Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. 30-70? I mean... Why not just wait till the next gen comes out right now, then? If you, if you now, just... what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? All of them, actually. Okay, I got a male and female. Um... I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Why, you don't want a brand new fire hazard that comes out? When it's released. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. My mind's not that cur beast feeder spell. I need a beast feeder now too. Oh man. Uh, now yes. we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. Oh, he just said rim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Oops. I need a couple more of these because I already threw them out by accident. Um, I guess I speak to Deke, huh? There is some good stuff on there. Yeah, there's also bad stuff on there. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. I'm getting another room? 
Uh, you know, I actually kind of like the look of that one. The round one, not so much. This one, swamp. Ooh, pretty. Deke never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Uh, I'll see about putting them in the, uh, ooh. I'll see about putting them in the beach area. Male, female, male, female, male. Why do I gotta breathe these again? Beastie items. So there's a feeder and a toy box. Okay. I just put the pen. Man, this pen is almost as large as the one off of Power World, am I right? Can you stop blocking the area where I'm trying to place your stupid pen? Oh, excuse me? Uh, move the inventory. Professor Howland will never believe this. Manage beasties. Off to a great start. You know, I'm actually amazed on how much detail they were able to put into this castle. I swear it wasn't what you think, my cherub. Your eyes deceive you. Uh, uh. Probably why the game stutters all through here, too. <laughs> Bastion. You'll never believe what I've learned. Oh, what did you learn? What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I regret using Crucio. Nah, <laughs> it was I use hard it to in do, every but casting Crucio situation. was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Uh, you know, he's like your best friend. I feel that you should tell him, even though he was a little upset about everything else, but you should probably we tell him. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Ominous can't don't read. Don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? Mm. I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Uh... Um... I am not letting this go. Hi. Yeah, okay, that was awkward. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. 
I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little lost and I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, should I ask about what happened to his parents? Uh, that's a little rude, ain't it? I'm nosy. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. I'm a little confused. So you said there was a toxin building up in the house, but you're saying the spell book caused it? I'm confused. The spell book is giving Sebastian hope. Uh, concerning. Also, Some references concerning. Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. Magic. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. Will not do. <laughs> Why did I have to turn around to open up the or to leave? Like if, if it shut behind me, should I just keep walking forward? Sebastian, are you just waiting there the whole time? Were you also eavesdropping? I hear it peeves. I don't even know where he is. Ah, screw him. Okay, so one of these spells, uh, I think I can learn Flipendo. I just need to go find some baddies to go beat up on. Where to go, where to go? Ah, I think there's some over here. So after I beat up these baddies, get some, you get my new spell. Mistook you for a go learn another spell. Okay, toss that. Toss that. Or, didn't need to toss that, just use it. And then you chuck this out. Whoopsie. Did I do it? Did I do my task? Will my teachers be proud at the horrible sight I have created? Professor Garlic. That's her name? Acquired Dire Claw with the knapsack. Where would that be at? Uh, so many areas I have not been in yet. I mean, it sounded like a lot. It's not a lot, but still, yeah, places I have not been. Is this more purple? Purple toad? Uh, are the wolves in this? Yeah, there are wolves in here. I mean, I want to befriend them. Like, these can be some wolves right here. No. I don't think these are wolves. These are spiders. And now they're not happy. So I guess we'll go get a purple toad and then scratch our head about the last thing we need to catch. Is this the same balloon I popped earlier? Just a lonely balloon? Pop Hey, 
Hey there, Toadie. How you doing? Arrest the moment. Um, I don't got my knapsack ready. That one almost got away. So I have my purple toad. Now I need to find that other creature that I already forgot the name of. Get a monitor. You only have a single monitor. You're welcome. I thought about it for you. Think about it, you only have a single monitor, right? Get the doolsies. This looks intriguing. Uh, what are these dodo birds? Oh, they're quick. No, you don't. Arrest the momentum. Uh, bruh! Incendio. Defender. For more of you? Get over here. And. Oh, I just barely got it. Which ones? Both are OLEDs? Assignments will I wouldn't know the difference between them. Whatever one has the fastest, or maybe, maybe not, you don't need the fastest. Is it going to be your main monitor? If it's going to be your main monitor, probably the best color accuracy. Or sRGB. West. Attend beast class during the day. Return to Prof Professor Garlic. I still don't even know where that is, but I'll get to that in a second. Lupendo. What is Flipendo? Sounds like another levitating spell, but it just spins them. Uh, Teach, where are you? I should return to Professor Garlic and turn this assignment or turn in the assignment that she will teach me how to cast Flipendo, a knockback jinx, which will put an opponent on their back. Okay, but where is she? Oh, other side. What? Oh, it's you. Oh, uh, what? What about me? Sorry, Dale. Can I hear you? Perhaps a hybrid. I finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. it Just yesterday, took I spent me three hours days to do it, pruning so... myself, fertilizing no. shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flipendo? Chin up. Keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Nailed it. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here nope, in the I'm greenhouse. I'm good. Satisfied. Just I am satisfied, plan. Teach. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's Just me. Hi, hi, Dale. What's up, Dale? Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother, William. The one I told you about after Charms class. Yeah, what about him? He's, he's been cursed. <gasps> oh, no. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, 
you won't believe it, truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress, and mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Um, so me, a student, should be finding a cure. Beats for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Yeah, maybe they're trying to tell him to beat it. <laughs> How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, so you are my you feet to turn to beats too. Whatever. Why I not? can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Thank you for your help. I hope I forgot about my this quest. My family is indebted to you. Okay, next on our agenda, we were learning another spell as well. Ah, yes. Bombarda spell. Professor Howen's assignment? Where's he at? Or she? Come on, give me the map. I want the map. Oh, you're outside. Oh, that's easy. Oh, right. It was the beast class. Huh. Beast class, here I come. There's so much we don't know about beasts. So much. Oh, I hate their eyes so much. Nice. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Oh, what do we, yeah. what do we do? Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes, I am actually. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. No. Use caution when casting it. Of course, Professor. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Go now ahead, blow my hand off. Got it. Movements. Remember, Launching. the exploding charm is highly volatile. So you're saying if I mess up, I die. Well done. Now, 
Let beginner's luck, I say. You'll not be here. Bombarda, bombarda, bombarda. Bombarda, ba. I got one more spell to learn, and that's the transformation spell. I actually think I want to learn that one uh, here in short order. Mm-hmm. Right. If I leveled up, do I need to talk to you again? You, you look like you want me to talk to you. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Uh, why are you interested in magical beasts? Why not? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? Maybe. I mean, I'm just a, uh, hobbyist. I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Okami eggs and disappeared in the mountains Okami? near my home. I knew of the Okami, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Okami could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. What is an Okami? Is it a bird? What type of beast is an Okami? It is a spectacular beast. A feathered, winged serpent-like creature that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. Seems quite a challenge finding an Okami in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver Okami eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even one cause. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learn to benefit properly from them. Was that your now, superhero moment? I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. Oh, she's long-winded. Okay. Let's see how much time we got here. About 30 minutes. I think we can squeeze in that last bell. And learn it. Okay, where do I gotta go? All the way over here? Hmm... I hope that's close enough. Oh yeah, there's a puzzle right here I, I never did. I should probably do it real quick. <clears throat> uh, oh, I got a light on fire. Okay. So, one for... 
I'm gonna go with two on this one. This has one line, so that's one. Uh, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six lines? Is there a six on here? Four. Uh, that's not it, is it? That's not it, is it? I, mean, I would assume this one was already done because it was already lit on fire. Maybe that's... Maybe this is four? Four quadrants? Uh... I don't know, it's a triangle, but maybe it's three. I don't know this puzzle. What am I looking for? One flame was on. It was lit. It was on one. Revelio. You have either four squares or two lines. Maybe that's right. Aiden, help me. I would think three because this is a triangle, so. Oh no, do I just brute force it? Do I brute force? of this set. Unless this is two. There's two circles in it. And then I say you're four. I still want to say that's four. These are the four squares. Are you two? Okay, so I guess it's to do about, like, how many quadrants to have. This only has one, so that's one. And then I chose this because, it, I don't know, I had, like, three sections in it, which is the first triangle, the center part where that was filled, and the second part that was filled right there. So I guess that makes three? How does this work out? I don't know. Four. Four squares. Two. Two circles. Ah. The answer is right here. It was right there. Rebellion. All right, so now let's go learn our transfiguration spell. Confringo. That's not what I press. One of these days, I'm gonna catch an air student on fire. Unintently. Wait, what? Not the way I needed to go? I am just perpetually lost. Okay. Oh, I had to go this way?
Ah, the underground harbor. Harbor wire. Harbor burr. Why do you need to turn around for the door to shut? So this is the underground harbor. Yes, yes it is. Right, get on a boat. Revelio. Oh, that's the field guide I needed. I have, ooh, never been down here. Kinda cool. Nope. Didn't mean to fall in the water though. Can I, there we go. Ah, disillusionment. Get some more galleons real quick. Collect the field page guys from the book on the intermediate transfiguration uh, in the library. I gotta go to the library now. Oh, uh, you know what? It makes sense on why I turned around now. It's an elevator. I know words. I know how to use words. I'm just not good at using words. A library, here I come. Almost there. Oh, oh you don't want me to go to the uh, restrictor section? I, I see how it is. What's the even point of having a library with a restricted section? Think about it. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Uh. Rebellion. Like the field guide page? Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration? Yes. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book, if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Ah, oh, this could be fun. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Tja! I wouldn't know. The Golden Snuggery? The golden snigget? The snake bird. I don't know. The snake bird? No. Incorrect. The answer was the golden snidget. The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Liquid luck. That sounded familiar. I think, uh, what was that in Harry Potter? Yeah. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drink a temporary I think lucky, Felix into a Felicis cat. is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Sorry, what? I didn't hear that. Uh... The Three Brothers, Deathly Hallows? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Yeah, this Which is... Which ball in Quidditch is knowledge? the largest? The Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. Ooh, um, no, I don't think it does. False. Correct. 
While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. No thanks! I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Re Revelia ought to make quick work of this. Want to test your knowledge on some more no, difficult I'm questions? No, I just want the field page! I just want the field page! I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I am not changing my mind right now. Oh, what? Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Okay, now we can go do Transfiguration. Finally. Okay, so I think I did pretty well on that quiz, though. Uh, only botched, like, what, one question? Hopefully I find it too distracting myself. Ugh. Ugh. Almost there. I'm loading. Almost there. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I forgot all about her gobstones. I heard. Professor I don't Weasley care. Transfigured the book Why are there so many people in here? Into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally as well. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Settle down. Settle down. Doesn't dare I'll do the same to you. Consideration, as you may be weary of hearing me say is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. Is that a past fear? As I fear? see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Uh, okay. Nailed it. Why am I off? Beautifully done. I mean, it could be a better flight to you, but I'm assuming moth. Class is dismissed. And remember... Now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Got an achievement. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. The assignments helped. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Yeah. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm yeah, I just the seeds and walk away. impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Uh, not at all. I was uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. Yeah, GPS It'll be the on end me. of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Nosy. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I will train. 
Well, I do want to hit it with Bombarda. Wow, that takes a while to recharge. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Fine. My plan is Bombarda. I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook? I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Let's see, where are we at? How are we doing? Everything good? I hope so. Astronomy class, huh? Oh, gobbledygook. Oh. Do we got some new bobbies in here? Do we have some bobbies? You can breed us ring for any species where you have a male if you Oh. It didn't give me the option to do that last time. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Um, wish I did that earlier by leaving and coming back. You know, actually, I wonder if I just had to leave the room with the requirement for it to work. Eek! Eek! I made them do the thing! Or not. I guess we'll find out next time. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Hogwarts Legacy with Barnacle Bigsby. Actually, let me get a... I'll do something else off screen, but... Y'all take care.